Hey guys and welcome back. This is Safe and today I'm gonna walk you through how you can use Begin by Zoho CRM as a complete beginner. So let's get started. Let's head to Begin. And this is how your Begin account will look like. So here on the left we have pipelines, contacts, companies, products, activities and dashboards. We will navigate through them and we will explore them section by section. Before creating anything in your own pipeline or before creating any task, you have first to create contacts, create companies, and then create products. So let's head to contacts and see how they are actually created. There are multiple ways through which you can create your own contact. You can, for example, import your contacts from your own device. You can import them from another CRM like Zoho CRM, Pipedrive, HubSpot, or Insightly. Let's go back. You can also use Form, which is really effective to collect data about your own contacts. Let's choose Form out and see how it's created. Now let's click on New Form on the top right. Then here I will choose Contact Forms, which is the first option. And now here is how this form looks like, so it's pretty basic. You can add any number of sections you want from here. So here I will just add first name. It's drag and drop. I will add phone. And maybe I will add... I think this is enough. Okay. So here I will add a title for this form. I will just write new contacts. for. Here you can also find that there is a section for companies if you are just adding companies instead of individuals. And now I will go and press on next step. And here I will assign the owner as myself. I will give myself notification every time a specific form is submitted. And I will leave tags empty. I will not request for approval. All the forms will be submitted to me immediately. And here I will redirect the visitor or the person who fills this form to thank you message instead of redirecting them to a specific page. And finally, I'm going to press on save and next. So since your form is now created, of course, you will need to share it. You have many options to share it. You can share it by copying the link and paste it to any destination you want. You can also share it by to social media, and you can also take this code and embed it inside your own website. Once you are done sharing this uh, form, you can press on done. And then you have a form that will allow you to gather your own contacts. Anyway, you can also add your contacts manually by clicking on contacts. Then press on contact here. And now you will insert all this basic information like the first name, last name, title, like engineer, email, company name here you can just create a company on the fly or you can create companies uh, completely from your own left navigation panel here here I will choose the same company as the Ted's company and here I will leave phone number empty I will leave description empty and I will save perfect now let's go and create here you can see the information for your own contact. Now let's go and create company. I will not create a company. I will just show you how you can do so. You can do so by the same exact methods that we did for contacts. You can import your own companies. You can create a form for companies or you can create them manually. By clicking here, you will have to insert company name, phone, website, and description. Perfect. You can also customize fields based on your own preferences. So for example, if you don't need these data, this data, you can just delete it and you can add data that you actually need when you gather information about companies and individuals. Now the third step is to add products. This is done by clicking on products here. Click on import from file if you already have your own products saved somewhere else or you can just add product manually. And here I will name the product for example as let me think. Let's suppose that this company sells mobile phones. So I will just 
right phone, product code, product category, unit price, and no $5,000 is great number, just 500. And description if you want. You can also mark this product as active and ready to be sold or not active. Now I will save my own product. And this is the information that I have just inserted. Now let's go to pipelines and create tasks. Here in pipelines, you can create a deal by going to this drop down menu. You can import deals. You can also create a form for deals by the same way that we did before. However, this time when you create a form, you will choose this second option, not the first option. Now let's return back to pipelines. You can also create them manually by just clicking on deal and selecting the stage in which this deal exists. This is a way. You can also do the same by just navigating to the stage itself, clicking on more options and choose new deal. Or you can just go downward and click on deal here. So I will just go um, to create them from deal. I will choose the deal name as new contract, company name as this company, contact name as John Wick, stage as need analysis, amount as $500 or make it 5,000, closure date, I will add it like any date, any random date, and description, I will leave it empty. You can also figure out what is it mandatory and what is, what is not from this red sign on the left. This means that this section is mandatory and you have to fill it. Now I will insert a product and I will add this product as the one I have already added before. And I can also add more from here. And once you are done, you can click on save. Now let's return back to our pipeline. And here you can find many stages, starting from qualification, need analysis, proposal and price qualification, negotiation review, closed one or closed lost. Which means that from left to right, it's a progression of these deals, starting from no deal up to closing this deal as if it's one, so we actually have a deal or it's closed lost, so we actually lost this deal. So this is like a progression from 0% to 100%. And you can also transfer different deals by dragging and dropping like that. You can also delete by dragging the deal downward to delete or closed one or closed lost like that. By going to closed one, you can see it here in this section. You can also change the view from here, choosing list view, for example, or sheet view. However, I always prefer the pipeline view, so I will go back and choose it. Now let's move on to activities, which is like a calendar view here. You can double click on any day to add a task, event, or a call. And here you have your own dashboard, which can contains insights of your key performance for your own com CRM company. And this is how easy you can use Begin. So that's it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.